Hello. Now let's try to understand the triple five timer being used as a stable multivibrator or monostable. You see, the pin connections are very easy to remember. When pin number two and six are sorted, when pin number two and six are sorted, it is a stable multivibrator. When pin number six and seven sorted, which we'll see later, is monostable. Monostable means one pulse. Now let's see the first, the astable. The astable is, and rest all connections are very standard. Four and eight, four being the reset pin, has to be connected to positive supply. Three is the output, and seven is called the discharge, and fifth is a point where you have to connect a capacitor. Okay. It is immaterial whether you connect this or not, not very essential. But the arrangement is such that the this particular capacitor C1 charges via R3 and R2. That means it charges by this. That means this is a 50K resistor, this is a 100K resistor. So charging path is 50 plus 100, 150K. So you find it is taking longer time, right? And the discharging path is, and the charging is, the moment it reaches two third of the voltage, we are given five volt supply. So we can see uh, if it is zero, one, two, three, four, five. It's five volt. So once, let's see only the only the blue graph. We'll see the uh, yellow graph a little later. And uh, it charges from one third voltage to two third voltage. When it reaches two third voltage, you know this point goes to ground. Pin number seven goes to ground. So what happens? Now this capacitor which has charged already will start discharging by this path. So it starts discharging, but the moment it reaches one third, when at this point, this uh, two and six sorted point, this particular point reaches one third, it again starts charging. And once it reaches two third, again this point becomes zero. So it starts discharging. That means charging path is this way to the capacitor and discharging path for the capacitor is this way. Right? Now the arrow which you see here is the charging path. Now it is coming this way, this way, this way and this is the charging path. Now if you would like to see the discharging path, see this is the discharging path. How? This goes this way and this way discharging path. So from one third to two third is the charging path and two third to one third is the discharging path. Why discharging path is shorter? Because well, discharging path is 100k. Charging path was 100 plus 150k this way. That is why charging path was longer and based on this you get the output like this. During the charging the output pin goes high. Output pin goes high. This is the output pin. And during discharging, the output pin goes low. So based on what these values, you can choose the duty cycle of this pulse. Whether Now it appears to be about say 60, 65% uh, uh, on time and 40% off time. So this is how you can choose as far as the duty cycle is concerned for the project that you are trying to do. Now let's see, once it is in monostable. In monostable, it is 6 and 7 sorted, 6 and 7 sorted. And the capacitor charging takes place like this. It charges via R6 and then C3. Discharges via again 7. And we'll see what is the typical arrangement of this. And the discharge happens only if trigger pin, we call it pin number 2 or trigger pin goes low. Otherwise, when we switch on, when we first switch on, what happens? The if it is, uh, it, it is uh, up till now the output is 0. Pin number 3 output is 0. Now once pin number 2 is driven low. Let's see what happens. When once the I momentarily drive pin number 2 low, that is low triggering. You see the output yellow goes high 
and this goes on increasing this this charging capacitor goes on increasing moment it reaches 2/3 volt output will again fall to zero see the output had fallen to zero see it once again now output is zero okay output is zero now i trigger it to low see the output has gone high and this capacitor starts charging now it goes on charging goes on charging after it reaches 2/3 volt it will fall to ground you see the output fail to ground after it reaches 2/3 volt after this capacitor voltage reaches 2/3 volt it falls to ground and that is the only one pulse as long if i give one more pulse again same thing will happen that means this is used for a monostable application where we want one pulse and the whole thing is done accordingly only one pulse that comes is 